Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to watch the Twitch streams that you love without uh, using a browser. So the the main Twitch tool that's on Linux, it's pretty much the only Twitch tool that exists uh, that I am aware of, is called GNOME Twitch. It's part of the GNOME project, it's not like uh, the official tool or anything, but it's available as a flat pack and it's called GNOME Twitch. So. Your guess is as good as mine, but to install it, please check the description below for the article. We have a listing of how to install under Fedora, Arch Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, and all of that. In this video, we're gonna be talking about two versions. We're gonna be talking about the Arch Linux version so that I can show you some things, but we're also gonna be talking about the Flatpak version. And the Flatpak version is the main focus here because that's the main way to install it on multiple distributions, regardless of if you're using Ubuntu or Debian or whatever. Everyone can run Flatpak, so that's a good uh, way to install it. So check the description, and if you go down to using GNOME Twitch, you can find the uh, link for the Flatpak. But to get it, you first need to subscribe to the Flathub repo. So I'm going to copy the subscribe command from the article enter my password and this will tell me that Flathub already exists this is because I'm already subscribed but if you have not so already subscribed to the remote repo it'll just add it from there you just need to do Flatpak install and it will search for it in the repositories and as you can see it'll search for it and it'll say required runtime press yes to install the required runtime, which in this case is GNOME 326. And this may take a bit of time, but it'll install the, the runtime and all of that. So now that everything is taken from the Flathub repo, the important platform stuff, and the program itself, we can open up our application menu. We go to games. It's not there, where is it? We can just search for it, GNOME Twitch, and we can open that one up. So I'm already logged into my Twitch account, so at any time I can select a stream and just start watching it. So the reason that I wanted to do something, uh, so the reason I wanted to talk about Arch Linux as well is because it's a good way to explain how the rendering works. So if you install the Flatpak, the renderer will be installed along with it because it's all one package. But if you're installing it like on Ubuntu or stuff like that, you need to have a renderer. So I'm using Arch and Arch has a good way to show this kind of stuff. So if I do GNOME Twitch, it will tell me the optional dependencies are none. But it also tell us what it depends on. So if you look here, it doesn't actually say we need a renderer. And that's a problem. And if you're installing it for the first time, it doesn't, it doesn't install it. And you'll be like, why isn't my Twitch stuff working? But if you search again, you'll see that there are many different backends. Now I have GNOME Twitch OpenGL, the Dreamstreamer backend installed. So if I go back to here and I go to settings, and we look at players, we know that the GStreamer OpenGL player is there. We can also switch to the Cairo GStreamer backend. And all this will do is it will change the way that it displays uh, renders. And uh, that's this is important because without this, it won't play back right. And uh, as for how do you find stuff to watch on GNOME Twitch, well, if you click on games, you can go through and sort through the kind of video games that you'd like to watch stream. So if I want to watch Super Mario Maker, I know that these people are playing and I can go to it and watch. And if I want to go to who I'm following, I haven't actually followed anyone on here yet, but if I follow somebody, I'm able to go through and sort through that way. And when you log in, you can participate in the chats that happen. Like, uh, like here, these people here are typing. If I were to log in, I could also participate. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. Just a brief explanation on how to use GNOME Twitch. I will see you in the next video.